What's up guys? So uh, today we have another battle box. Uh, I know I just did a battle box not too long ago, but that was December's and that arrived late just because of the crazy holiday uh, mail situation. But we have January's box right here. So we jump right in. So today I'm rocking the Casbah. Uh, because I rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. That's what I did. All right. So, let's see what's going on here. There is a little bit of a tear in the box from shipping. So we're going to make sure nothing small fell out of there. So we got going on here. All right, Mission 71. It says, Happy New Year, Battle Box family. Uh, it is January 2021, and we are excited to bring you another year full of awesome gear. This month is, yet again, packed full of gear. Uh, for you to add to your preps, EDC, and loadout. Uh, the value and usefulness of these products are outstanding, so let's not wait any longer. Flip the page so you can get started going through the contents of Mission 71. Yeehaw! Current 1776. Well, we don't want any uh, spoiler alerts there, so we're just going to go ahead and dig in one at a time. Let's start here. What is this? All right, Spot Gen 4. Uh, satellite GPS messenger. I love tech. As you guys know, I'm just not uh, <laughs> not very familiar with a lot of it, but I am uh, always surprised at some cool technology. So it so says, "Stay connected." Uh, Spot Gen 4 gives you a, a critical life-saving line of communication when you travel beyond the boundaries of reliable cellular service. Spot uh, Gen 4 lets family, friends, and colleagues know you are okay, um, or if the unexpected should happen. Uh, send your GPS location to emergency responders all with the push of a button and this rugged pocket sized device uh, or excuse me add this rugged pocket sized device to your essential gear and stay connected uh, wherever you play or work so that's really cool we'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can read the rest so yeah I can definitely dig that all right I don't adventure too far out of the realm of things all right I'm not going to get uh, lost so far out that they're going to make a movie on me um, but it's still a very good thing to have. You just never know. You never know. I mean, I say that, but who knows? Maybe one day we'll trek really far out in the wilderness. But usually when I'm in the woods and stuff, I'm on, you know, property that people know. And uh, even if I fell and broke my leg and have no way to communicate or anything like that, you know, cell service, someone would definitely find me. I do have a very good habit of letting people know where I am. Like if I randomly go fish somewhere, I'll leave a note at the house where I am, what time I left. You know, I'm, I'm used to doing that. It's a very good thing to do. Um, you know, especially if uh, people are, are okay with not seeing you for a while. You know what I mean? If you are in a situation where, you know, you don't see family or friends for a couple days and you are out, you know, trekking and doing all that kind of adventuring and stuff, you should definitely leave notes and let people know. Like, all right, I'm expecting to come back tonight. If you don't hear from me, you know, here's where I am. So anyway, moving on. We got a cool utensil set. Christina loves camp utensils, so she will certainly love this. Uh, I don't know if that's a UCO or UOO on top there. It says switch, go anywhere, spork set. All right, so obviously we have the, the spoon knife and fork. And it looks like they tie into each other. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and put this through here. So we can get this tie off of it. All right, that goes back to there. And then it goes through here. And get these out. And there we go. They are free of the packaging. I actually might even take this thing off and use it for something. That seems useful. So I'm going to save that. Alright, so. Um, looks like this just slips in. Oh, that's nice. You can use that as an extension to go in further. All right, well, I mean, I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm playing around here. Um, I just slipped this back in here, just, I mean, for storage to put in a bag or anything. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but I also use that little thing to kind of keep it together, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyway, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Love having uh, some camp utensils. All right, so what is this? We got uh, RedEyedHog.com Original. Original what? Zoom in here. All right, so basically we just have a uh, pack of seasoning. All right, it says salt, spices, onion powder, and garlic powder. So it's just versatile for whatever. 
MREs, soups, stews, wild game, wild edibles, freeze-dried meals, fish. I mean, you could just say food because they're just telling you to put on whatever you want. All right, I can get down with that. Definitely have to try that, see if it's any good or not. We have a big old 72-hour uh, kit. This is a um, you know MRE pack, multiple MRE pack. It says averages 1,600 plus calories a day for one person for 72 hours. Made in the USA. All right, emergency food storage. During a crisis, you may have to survive on your own for an extended period of time. Yeah, we know that. Um, so yeah, they're saying like, uh, what did they say, 25 years? 25 years on this? Shelf life? So full of, full of food. I don't know if I want to open this. It's just, yeah. Go ahead and dig in. Let's see exactly what we got in here. All right, let's do this one at a time. So we got a pack of mac and cheese. All right, elbow noodles, cheddar cheese, homestyle potato soup. Black bean soup. Get that thing, creamy chicken flavored rice. All right. And is that it? That is it. So yeah, those four major meals. Now the thing is, this is a, this is a large pack. I'm not sure exactly how much this um, makes, like the end uh, product there. But again, I mean, this is for one person for 72 hours. All right, gives you enough energy to, uh, you know, to work and, and do your thing and survive. Those really are awesome to uh, to store up. Those are things you get little by little, and then all of a sudden you have, you know, a whole crate full of them. You know what I mean? Because it gets kind of expensive to uh, to get all that stuff all at once. But if you slowly buy them, you know, every paycheck or whatever, all of a sudden you're going to find you have a couple months worth of food. So that does build up pretty quickly. All right, so let's get this paperwork out of here. We got a red-eyed hog spice pack, which I don't know if that's good or yet not, but there's a 10% code, Camp Cook 10. <laughs> Be fat. All right, original seasoning. Okay. And then what is this for? Battlebox 20 is discount code for havenready.com. So I don't know what this is yet. Let me see, anything else in here? Oh, <laughs> well, that's exciting. All right, so I'm not sure what this exactly pertains to, but we're not done yet. We'll look at the, the book at the end. But anyway, there's a, a coupon code for that company, Battlebox 20. All right, so first off, what is this? Spartan Fire Multi-Use EDC Tinder. That's interesting. These are like fire starting sleeves. They're super flat. Flat is nice. You can get all kinds of creative to uh, to put that in different types of gear and store that. You can keep one of these, well, I don't know, I was going to say in between your, your cell phone and your cell phone case, but I don't know if uh, the heat of your cell phone is going to create any problems there, so don't do that. All right, let's zoom in here, see what they have to say about this. It says, scrape it, spark it, reuse it. Reusable, multiple uh, fires per tinder, special wax protects knife blades, no odors, oils, or non and non-toxic. Never expires, 12 packs, uh, or excuse me, 12 fires per pack. 100% waterproof and wind resistant. Uh, keep them in your wallet or purse. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You can stash these pretty much everywhere because they're super flat. Great for bug out bags, survival kits, emergency repair patch, uh, and trusted by NATO and adventurers worldwide. That is pretty interesting. So we will probably visit this in the future and check that out. Also made in the US of A, which is always a bonus. All right, so let's back this out, put that off to the side. Let's see what else we have here. All right, we have a uh, Gerber camp saw. This one's called the Freescape. I have not seen this before. Snap lock and rubber grip folds flat, so obviously you can see how that folds. And then there it is in the open position. So yeah, I mean, camp saws and stuff, they're always good to, uh, to play around with. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. I definitely don't uh, put these in my packs or bags. I have these uh, dedicated for uh, camp gear, okay? So I have uh, miscellaneous, you know, crates and tubs and bags of all kinds of camp gear and stuff. And we go camping, we go through that, we pick what we want. Uh, if I know I'm gonna be processing wood at a campsite or something, I'll definitely bring something like this. But just generally speaking, I don't, I don't keep these, you know, handy. Um, I do prefer, you know, just using a hatchet, 
usually you know the less work the better so if I'm going to a campsite or something and I'm bringing my own camp wood that's one thing that's already processed and ready to go if I'm doing camping stuff and I want to just you know take whatever whatever natural wood I have around me I go the easy route and I grab a lot of dead branches a lot of downed wood I use a, a hatchet or an axe to really just kind of break that up uh, it doesn't have to be pretty at all uh, sawing is definitely a good option to have but sometimes it takes more energy than to just collect, you know, a bunch of down wood. It just depends on the situation, though. Obviously, if it's been raining, everything's wet, that's when you really need to cut into some dry stuff, all right? So that's where this stuff really, you know, shines, so to speak. But that is awesome. Put that off to the side. Perhaps I'll test that out in the future. And then we're down to this. How about that? <laughs> they actually included uh, an SE Azula. This is a classic, classic knife. I've... Uh, EDC this knife many times, mostly as a neck knife. Um, they're giving you the full kit here with the uh, hard sheath as well as the scales, which I noticed right away. So they're actually giving you those uh, nice gray, looks like micarta scales. That is really, really cool. Just, I mean, the best knife in the box yet. Now, I've loved all their knives in the past. There's been a lot of cool ones, but this is just classic. Made in the USA. Um, it's just everyone knows about the Azula. All right, and having those extra scale options is really cool because some people like to paracord wrap these uh, and other people like to um, you know, use the scales. It is actually really, really comfortable with the scales. But yeah, awesome, kind of a khaki tan uh, type color. All right, and of course, this is uh, 1095 carbon steel. Just awesome, just an awesome, awesome blade. So let's go ahead and check this, make sure we got everything. All right, so we got the uh, ready... Uh, ready hour, 72 hour meal kit, check. We got our Spartan multi-use uh, EDC tinder sheets, check. Uh, UCO switch spork, uh, two-piece utensil set, check. Um, Red-eyed hog seasoning, got that, check. Uh, Gerber freescape, got that, check. Spot tracker Gen 4 satellite messenger. Uh, and the free activation in six months, free service with battle box code. Okay, so that's what that is, I'll save that paperwork. So you get like a trial six month uh, service for that. And then we have our uh, Azula with my card of scales. So that is awesome. I can't wait. I mean, I, obviously I've been there, done that kind of a thing with this knife, but uh, I'll probably give this one right to uh, Christina to, uh, to carry and use. She'll love it. But uh, speaking of camping, this is a fantastic little, uh, you know, companion at a campsite for all those little chores. And especially if you want to, you know, neck carry, just awesome. So yeah, that is uh, mission number 71 for January 2021. What a way to kick it off. I mean, that is awesome. Again, just my favorite knife. It's funny because of all the different knives, and there's some really cool ones, some very innovative ones, um, and I love checking out new stuff, but this is just so classic. I have to say, so far, this is my favorite knife from a battle box. So two thumbs up for that. So yeah, that's this month's battle box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section do you already have the SE Azula? If you do not, you definitely need to look into it. Uh, specifically, if you like to neck carry, it's just an amazing neck knife. But even if you don't like doing that, you can still carry it scout in the back, carry it in the pocket. I mean, do whatever you want with it. But it is an awesome small fixed blade. It's just a, a workhorse. So that is all for now. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.